This is Daniel Larson attending. UCLA. Brought to you by Larson Leak. Larson Leak is the best. We have everybody here. I believe so. Um, going to start class anyway here. Share the PowerPoint for all of you for this class. Uh, here we go. All right. So everybody can see that, right? Perfect. Yeah. All right. I, uh, I can see it. I can see it. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing that for now. Uh, I'm just going to take attendance real quick. Uh, when I say your name, please say that you are here. All right. I got it. I got it. I got it. So first student on my list, John Anus. Oh, uh, yeah. What's up? Uh, it's pronounced Anus. I'm okay. here, though. Bart Ryder. Yeah. Hello. Okay. Bart Ryder is here. here. Bobby, Bobby Boucher. Uh, I'm here. Clark Hunter. That's me. Daniel Larson. Okay, I see Daniel raising his hand. Fletcher Cox. Isaac Bogard. Here. Here. <laughs> Hello. I think my... Is my mic okay? I think my mic is a little glitchy. Okay. <laughs> All right, so uh, today we're going to be doing a presentation um, on world history. I want to thank all of you for coming to this class. I'm going to start streaming my screen here in a second for you guys, just so you can see the presentation. All right, so welcome uh, to World History. Uh, this is the first class of the first semester in winter. My name is Michael Eichfeld. I've been a teacher here for three, year, three years here at UCLA. Um, and so essentially what's going to be going on during this class is we are going to be exploring world history. Um, this is important as an elective. Uh, because you might have picked this class just for extra credits, or this might be a class that is a part of the credits that you need for your major or minor, okay? Um, so today we're going to be talking about ancient civilizations. So I have a question for a few students here. Uh, I'm going to leave these as open questions when I ask them, um, but if you have an answer to one of these questions or think that you know the answer to one of these questions, um, it is important for you to just raise your hand or unmute your microphone um and you know take turns when you're talking okay um i like having an open classroom um which is important to me i like having open discussions and debate and letting people's voices be heard all right so the first ancient civilization i'm going to call on uh we have two daniels um mr i'm going to call on daniel larson what is one thing you think of when you think of ancient egypt Yeah, I can't hear him. Mr. Can you Larson. Hear me? Oh, yes, yeah. we can, yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Um I would say um when it comes to Egypt, the first thing that comes to mind would be um the great egyptian pyramid perfect that was the answer i was looking for thank you the great pyramids in egypt right that's the first thing everybody thinks of when they think of ancient egypt right perfect answer the ones that i want to focus on today are ancient mesopotamia and ancient texas all right now ancient wow. mesopotamia went back 3500 years okay ancient texas goes back 3000 years now, something that's much closer to home that happens to be in Texas 
is the Temple of Quantarius III. This is a pyramid that was constructed 2,500 years ago in Texas. Obviously, in this uh, picture, it's being preserved um, due to archaeological efforts by scientists. Um, but this is a great example of the Temple of Quantarius in Texas. I believe it's located five miles from El Paso um, currently. But yet again, this is ancient um, history of its time. All right. Now, the first king of ancient Texas. His name was Ashid An Farad, and he was the first king. Now, that's important to remember because that will be on one of the quizzes that we have next week. All right. So, if you need to take a screenshot of my presentation, I think I, I saw this guy at a museum one time. But yeah, so Ashid and Farad was the first man inside of ancient Texas who actually established the royal family, all right? And he lived around Houstonia, and we're going to talk about Houstonia because ancient Houstonia was the foundation city of modern-day Houston, right? And you, I'm sure you've learned about this in school, or this is something that you learned about in maybe middle school, high school, um, depends on which course you were in, um, but yet he was the head monarch of um, the, the state of Texas or the ancient city of Texas. All right. Now the main religion, what are, I'm going to have you guys name the first religion you can think of when it comes to your mind, right? Cause we're going to compare it to the religion of ancient Texanians, right? So I'm going to start with, uh, I'm sorry if I'm going to confuse two of my students here. I'm going to refer to you by your last names instead of your first names, just so we don't confuse our students here. Mr. De Niro, what is a what is a religion that comes to your mind? Just just out of the blue, what do you think of? Yeah, hey, uh, uh, I mean, I know I got a couple like uh, Muslim friends type shit, and I, I yeah. Okay, so people who are Islamic, right? So we've named Christianity. We've named Islam. Uh, I'm going to pick on one person for the third here. Um, I'll pick on Mr. Mr. Larson had a very good answer the first time. Mr. Larson, can you think of uh, just uh, any religion you can think of um, off the top of your head here? Buddhism. Good. Yes, Buddhism. It's a very good answer. Uh, Buddhism it was a popular religion back in the day stoicism is what it's called was an old religion back in the day that was a mixture of both buddhism and islam all right now let's move on the major cities of ancient texas right how many of you here have been to houston before you can say it out loud if you've been to houston before has anybody been to houston uh, I've been, uh, I, 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 I went i went there once I've been to Houston. Okay, cool. Yeah, no, Houston is a great city. Um, if you go very south, far south in Houston, if you look at the picture that I have on the slideshow, you'll actually still be able to visit the remnants of the ancient Houstonian walls. All right? Um, so the ancient Houstonian walls still stand. They're not as tall as they used to be uh, 2,000 years ago. But the Houstonian walls were very big walls that were built by ancient Texanians 2,000 years ago. Right. And then we take a look at uh, Dallas, the old city, which is now named Dallas today in Texas. Right. So Dallas is one of the older cities in Texas versus Houstonia. It's about 2000 years before or sorry, it was built in zero B.C. And still there are not many remnants that are left in Texas right now. Um, how many of you have been to Dallas before? I'm actually just uh, curious. Has I anybody was, been to I was, Dallas? I was there one time. Uh, so me and me and my mom um went there yeah oh. my, my my dad was on the run from uh federal marshals and he he ended up in dallas i think uh sure. he, he he forgot to pay a uh, child support so he he had to go uh, i think it was dallas i don't know all right um so first we have three thousand years ago we have ancient Texas, right? It had high economic power and stability. Their economy was very, very good in ancient Texas, right? 
Then we have an era where they were struggling and they were using stones as currency, right? I'm going to call on Mr. Larson here. This You can just guess. You can, you can guess as to what it was like. But what do you think it was like in Imperial Texas about a thousand years ago? What do you think it was like? Mr. Larson, you're muted. Mr. able to unmute. Man, I want to say that it was um, very, I want to say people were using like, they went through a period where they were using like anything that they could find, like um, kind of like how um, when America was first created um, and we didn't have like paper coins or paper dollars or whatever, like we would be using gold. I believe that they were using um, stones, um, gold, silver. Um, mining was big back in the <laughs> day as well. You're speaking actual facts. Yeah, no, that's absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct. That is exactly what it was like. Sorry, my McCarthy K. Um, hi, yeah, I just um, I read a little bit about ancient Texas, and I read somewhere. I just don't know if this is true, so maybe you can tell me or or not. Um, that a main source of income for many people there was prostitution. They had many brothels. Yes, correct. It, that you were absolutely right in saying that. So in Imperial Texas, about a thousand years ago, there was a lot of of brothels in Texas, right? So that was their biggest economy a thousand years ago. I'm glad you brought that up. So we're now going to talk about the giants of Texas. Okay. So the giants of Texas. So these are actually real archaeological finds that I've actually worked on a site before where we've been digging up these bones. Um, and ancient dig sites, right? So 5,000 years ago in Texas at the time, there were giants that were roaming around. And we have archaeological evidence, real evidence to prove that giants were walking around. Um, as you can see in these photos, they're digging up the bones and they actually have a giant skeleton on display um, at the Houston Museum of Natural History, right? Um, so we see a lot of giants back in the day in ancient Texas. Uh, they were they were not a part of the government of ancient Texas at the time. But um, we do still have archaeological records of them. And such as the tools they used. Now, what about giants today? Right? So there are a lot of people in the United States that actually have roots to gigantism. Right. You can take a DNA test online like Ancestry DNA. I don't know how many of you have heard of Ancestry DNA um, or like 23andMe. There's a lot of platforms where you can take DNA tests. Right. Um, and if you take a DNA test, you can actually see if you have giant DNA. Now, I do have a question here. There, There is proof that there still may be a few giants. Yeah. in the United States. Has anybody ever seen a giant before? Like, has um, anybody from experience? My dad is... Oh, sorry. Continue. Oh, actually, hold on one second. Uh, I think Mr. Larson raised his hand first. I will let Mr. Larson speak first, if he would okay. like to. Okay. This is kind of off subject a little bit, but um, to go along with the entire... Uh, giantism um theory um and what um other people were saying in the class i i believe in the bigfoot um kind of off subject but i have actually seen um one time camping a similar uh story wow can you can you explain your experience i've actually never heard of that before can you explain your experience with well um i was camping when i was 
super young. I was like eight years old. And um, all I really remember was I was like inside the tent and I heard like a howl. And um, it wasn't like a bear or wolf or anything, but something actually sat on my foot inside the tent. And I thought at, the, at that age, it was a bear, but my family told me it was something a lot bigger um, and possibly a big foot that sat on, on top of my tent on my foot. Wow. Was, was the tent destroyed? I imagine he's, he's pretty big, isn't he? The tent wasn't destroyed, but there was like a corner of the tent where it was dented in. Wow. That's never heard of that before. That's really, wow. That's a, that's how, a crazy experience. Um, how big was it like, <laughs> exactly? Like, like what were like, the measurements? Like how many feet tall? I want to say like a grizzly bear, but it was, um, it like actually sat like a human. That's, that's insane. what I was told. Yeah. By family. Wow. I was that's... asleep, so I didn't really know until I woke up. Wow. That, that is a, a, a scary experience, but an awesome experience to have because it's a really cool story to tell. Um, and I, I'm glad you were able to share that with us, um, Mr. Larson. Um, now, I know that Mr. Uh, De Niro was raising his hand. I apologize for... Did you, did you forget your... Man, my story, I, my after, I, I'm not gonna be able to compete with that, bro. It's, it's, it, that was a good story. Yeah, it's all, all, all good, all good. All right. So we've talked about ancient Texania. We've talked about um, ancient Mesopotamia. All of these ancient civilizations, right? And so I'm actually just gonna do a quick. These, this doesn't count as credit. This doesn't count as, as points. Um, but I'm going to go around and just ask you to name just one fact that you think that you remember about ancient uh, Texas, okay? Just one fact that you remember um, from what we did. All right, so I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here because that was the end of my presentation. Uh, we'll go around. I have not called on John Anus recently. John Anus, what is what is one fact that you think you learned today about ancient Texas? Oh yeah, uh, so I, I don't know much about uh, Texas, I, I just know there's a lot of Mexicans around there. Uh, but now I uh, I heard that um, because I heard this from this guy I used to break into cars with. Um, and and he said that uh, Houston was, was actually uh, the, the cradle of civilization that that instead of Africa, like humans came out of uh, Houston and that uh, all the archaeological evidence was uh, actually a uh, cover up, and, and I I don't know uh, the facts about that, but uh, I I think it's cool that uh, you know they they had prostitution back then because uh, I think it, that should be legalized. All right, hell yeah! Please do not yell at my class. Thank you. Um, we'll ask. Um, Bobby, Bobby Boucher, what do you, what do you think is one fact that you learned today about Texas? I, I'll get you, uh, after the, after Boucher, uh, Mr. Larson, I saw your hand. Yeah, I learned about, um, the Texonian wonders, the, the temple. Um, I thought, I thought that was super cool. And the history of that is just super fascinating to me. Uh, I love history. I love Texas, love pyramids, put them all together. It's like a win, win, win. Very good, very good. Uh, Mr. Larson, I apologize. I, I saw your hand right at the end there. Um, what is one thing that you learned about ancient Texas today? Well, um, I didn't even know that um, and that there were like skeletons that were actually like um, dug out of the ground that were like the skull of the human is like the size of a like a normal human being today yeah they were i didn't very even big. know yeah, i didn't even know that there was like skeletons of like human beings the size of dinosaurs yeah no it's a very very interesting fact and the fact that they 
um, originated in the ancient city or ancient state of Texas um, is incredible. So yeah, that's it's it's definitely a new fact to people who have not um, heard about it in their previous classes before or have not attended college. Um, obviously, it's we we teach college level courses here. Um, one more person I'm going to pick up pick for something that they learned today. I'm going to pick on McCarthy K. McCarthy K. Are you here? Yeah, so I learned a couple things today, actually. Um, I did not know that ancient Texas was the, they were the first people to have pyramids. One, I thought that was really interesting because I think people give that credit to Egypt a lot um, in Africa. And then what was the name of the first ruler of ancient Texas? I believe it was Ashidid and Farded. Ashid. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. Ashid Far. Uh, I don't know. I, I think it, it was uh, Ashid Fardad. No, uh, it's a te a teacher. No, Is that true. right, or, or am I wrong? No, I think you're right. It's like Ashid. Uh, Ashid uh, Fardad. Is that right? No, it's like Ashid Fardad. Ashid Fardid. Everyone stop yelling Ashid out, guys. Ashid Fardid. Ashid uh, no, the, the, the name the name is Ashid Anfarad. Ashid oh. Farad, yes. Um, uh, so, excuse me, teacher. I gotta go to my parole hearing, uh, so I gotta leave. Is that is that okay? That is fine. Class is about to end anyway. Um, there will be no homework for this first class that we're having, uh, just because it's an introductory class. Um, but expect for next week, um, we're going to start studying the music of ancient times. We're really going to get into um, the music and the songs that they created in ancient Mesopotamia and ancient Texas. All right. Um, so I appreciate you guys being here and being on time. You guys have all been great. Um, if you have any questions for me, um, please let me know now and I can answer them. I have a question from Kathy K. You can yeah. Ask your so I just found a few of the things really interesting from today's class. And I did take a picture of the giants. Would you be okay if I were to show that to a friend or something? Absolutely, yes. Um, any any screenshots or anything of the presentation that you took today, feel feel free to post them. Feel free to share them. Um, it isn't something that's private or anything. Uh, obviously, we're learning here. So if you guys want to help others learn, that would be great. I would be happy if you did that. Um, so good question. Anybody else have a question? Anybody else? Any more questions? All right. I mm -hmm. think we are good. I want to thank you guys for coming today. I will see you guys again. Um, the schedule will also be put onto the Google Classroom so you can see when our next class is. Um, and I thank you guys. If you guys want to contact me, definitely contact me through my email on the Google Classroom. All right. Thank you so much. Have a good night. More of like, uh, instead of uh, world history, more of like world alien history. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the F? <laughs> yeah, well, I thought it was weird about the entire uh, human-sized skeleton. No, dinosaur-sized skeletons. If you look at that picture... The person that dug up the skeleton of, like, the actual head just alone was the size of him. <laughs>